A Branson police sergeant is being honored by the International Association of Police Chiefs with a 40 Under 40 award in recognition of his outstanding service to the community. Michael Hoffman spoke with him and joins us live in the studio. Now, Michael, I understand this is the second award this sergeant has gotten in the last month. Well, Francis, that is correct. Last month, Tanner Muckenthaler received the Medal of Valor after he and other officers pulled a crash victim out of a burning car. Now, when your job involves seeing things like that on a regular basis, there has got to be some underlying trauma that needs to be addressed. Now, the 40 Under 40 comes in after Muckenthaler created a program called the Ozark Mountain Peer Support Team. It aims to help all first responders, from police to 911 operators, to work through those types of situations. Just over two years of existence, we've been deployed approximately 72 times, uh, and we have provided services to over 150 first responders. Sergeant Tanner Muckenthaler with the Branson Police Department has been working in law enforcement for just over a decade. And in that time, he says there's a culture where first responders will glaze over the trauma that comes from their jobs. He says that has to change. There is kind of a thought of, hey, we just need to grow a callus over this. We need to, you know, block that out and push forward. Uh, and research and uh, decades of experience have shown that that's not effective. Uh, that does more harm than good. After securing a grant from the Skaggs Foundation, Muckenthaler developed and launched the Ozark Mountain Peer Support Team, a program that aims to help first responders process trauma seen on the job confidentially. If, if your conversations are getting to that point, uh, that is beyond what we train our people to handle. Uh, so we do need to interject and get additional levels of care uh, started for those people. It's an issue that we spoke with Branson's police chief about following the murder-suicide at the Branson Manor Apartments, where a tenant shot the manager over a rent dispute, later turning the gun on himself. The chief says though these people spend their lives assisting others, sometimes they need a little help themselves. When you internalize that all the time, at some point, you have to be able to let that out. And that's where we're, we're very blessed to have that. We've received that grant. It's been huge for us over the last couple of years. We've been able not only to use it for our first responders in the police department, but the fire department, EMS, dispatch, um, other employees. Muckenthaler says through all of his accomplishments, it has always been a team effort. I, I've been very fortunate. I, I don't really look at it as much of a me thing as it is, you know, like I said, those opportunities show up and wanting to make the most of them. Sergeant Muckenthaler is one of only 25 law enforcement professionals selected from the United States for this award. The other 15 were selected from other countries. Now, only one other officer from Southwest Missouri has ever received this award in the past. He was from the Springfield Police Department. Now, this ceremony will be held in San Diego next week. Francis. Michael, thank you.